Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, people. Today, well, this video is going to be very, very short. It's uh, on my Cadillac ATS 2015. And basically what you're looking at right now is my radio. And inside of this radio, there's tons of technology. Uh, there's, uh, you know... Even from blinking, the, the lights blinking and the light and the, the the horn, the horn beeping when you press the uh, alarm to lock the car, all of that is inside of this uh, radio system. As you can see, I can still back up the backup camera, still working or whatnot. But this is what I get. I tried resetting it, you know, like everyone has been telling us how to reset it. I've tried that opening the door. Uh, opening this little thing right here, secret compartment, uh, nothing's working. I've been riding like this for damn near almost a year now. Uh, and that's just one of the things that I don't like about this Cadillac ATS. Um, another thing, my headlight went out. And they have different types of uh, ATS. Uh, well, you got different type of headlight units you can have. The videos I've been watching seem really easy, but that was with halogen lights. Come to find out that I don't have a halogen lights, so I have HID lights. So I went ahead and changed those out, which is a pain. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to take your tire off, jack it up, pull back the liner, really get in there. Uh, so right now I just want to show you what these uh Show you what these lights look like. I got uh, 10K lights off of Amazon. I will link them if I know how to get paid for it. But uh, yeah, let me just show you that. The lights really quick. Uh, one on the left. It's the new light. One on the right is the uh, the old light, factory light. It's a little yellow. This one is definitely blue. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. But man, what is it was a pain getting in there and doing that. I would have made a video saying how I did it. But that's a two-man job of getting in there, and I'm not doing all that editing. But yeah, I'm going to review this ATS. But this is one of the things I don't like, this. Like, what is this? Doesn't respond, I'm pressing buttons, nothing. Like, the radio will still come on or whatnot. You know, but that's about it. Everything's locked up. So instead of paying a 1000 or 1500 dollars just to get another one of these put in, which is basically crap, these Q systems is crap, I'd rather just go ahead and get the, the iPad hookup or the ones from China. This, it, I mean, it looks better. They're, they look better. They're fuller. They're, you know, it just takes all of this out. My only question is if it's, if I still have the capabilities uh, and the GPS and all of that and options to, to work my vehicle like this one does. But this one has a lot of menu options, and they're all inside of the radio. All of them. But, yeah, that's it. My quick rant about this ATS and what I don't like about it. I'll do a review on it uh, eventually, but all right, it's Brother John, and I'm out.